So welcome back to UAV and uh, what we did in the last tutorial we created the rockets and there's just a few more things we need to take care of, is the camera system and the decals so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a camera system here and then we're going to split them into separate bodies and save them into their individual file so and then i will head over to that part and uh, finish the design on on that part so that when we head over to our assembly, we're going to be able to add our uh, assembly mates so that we're going to be able to turn our camera up and down, left and right. So uh, you probably know, you have an idea of what I'm going to do, but if not, then if you stick around, then you will see. So uh, let's go, let's create a plane. Let's start by creating a plane. And then so let's see what planes. Let's see this plane here. Okay, so that plane looks good. So let's use this plane and let's sketch on this plane. So I don't want to be too far from the body with this one, but let's show this plane. Show. Sure. Okay. And then let's get a normal to profile here. Let's flip it around. And I want to make a circle somewhere about here. Not that point, maybe about there. I know what, let's make it in this point. And I want the circle to be 27. Not too big. Yeah, 27 is fine. Mm, actually, let's make that 29. Let's see what it is. Uh, look, 29 is a little bit better. Okay. So, uh, what I want to do now is I want to extrude cut into the body. So, let's extrude the cut into the body. Let's flip it around. So I'm not going up to the body, I'm going to extrude cut into the body because I'm going to bring uh, something out from that body and I need to uh, and I need to extrude cut into that afterwards. So I'm going to I'm gonna go into the body about that much. Press again on that. So now we have that. Uh, let's hide the sketch and let's create our design off of this surface. So let's sketch on this face and uh, curve circle. Let's try to get that middle point, midpoint. There you go. And then We're gonna go up to this edge. I'm going to make another circle in the middle. So this is what is going to make our uh, camera able to turn uh, left and right. So I'm going to press OK on that. I'm going to the dimension to the circle because I need to do the size of that. I'm going to make that 17. Okay, 17 is good. And I'm just going to go to our extrude boss base and extrude this out. And I want to extrude out about that far. Maybe we can go in. Okay, so we have more room to play. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to press OK on that. So now we have our base uh, area for our camera to be moving left and right. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an other sketch on that first plane that we started. Let's get a normal to profile here. And let's see what planes we got. Mm, okay, that's good. I'm going to make a sketch on that. Okay. And I'm going to make a circle. Let's grab that point here. And uh, go up to this edge. We also have that edge. Okay, so let's do it by go with this one first. Okay. And then let's go to pass, extrude. And we are extruding the other way around. So this is the one that is going to go in there in the assembly. And uh, we add the uh, we will add our mates. So uh, I like that. So I'm gonna keep that like this. And we have plenty of exact uh, clearance for that. Let's just measure it. Instead, let's measure uh, from this edge to this edge, and that is 5.20. And let's measure this edge to this edge, and that is 5.20. That is absolutely what we are looking for. Okay. And now we're just going to sketch on this face. Let's get a normal to profile. And what we want is we want to create a plane that is perpendicular to the space. So uh, let's grab a center line. Make the straight. Exit the sketch. Exit the sketch. And then let's go to a uh, plane. Let's choose this line. And then let's choose this point. Press OK on that. And now we just have to sketch on this plane here. Okay. And then we're going to uh, add a center line. And we're going to go from this point somewhere down here. And we're going to go grab a uh, three point arc. And let's try to go from uh, from here to about here, and we see how that look. And bring this in. Something like that. Actually, we really want to make sure that uh, this is a perfectly spherical. If you don't have to, but uh, and actually, just to make it easy, let's make it uh, spherical completely. So, um, yeah, let's just grab a three-point arc and then let's go from. Uh, So let's go from a little bit lower than the actual, uh, let's cut this here. I don't need that right now. So uh, let's go lower than the, the base plate. So we're going to be able to uh, split the part.
I think that's cool about something like that. And then here, and uh, let's go over to Revolve. Yes, close this catch. Okay. Let's zoom out to see how, how big is this camera. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, yeah, so uh, you might think it's uh, lower, but actually in the assembly when we get over, this will go into the body, so the camera will be that much closer. Okay. Um, however, I think maybe our camera could be slightly bigger. So let's go here and edit this sketch. I can just pull this down to change the size and it looks good. Let's pull this out like that and you can just, you can even make it that big. Well, probably not, not a good idea to make it that big. No. Alright. So, I would say something like, that's too big. Let's go back to the original idea. Okay, so that's good. I'm happy with that. So, um, are we going to be able to split this into two? That's good. So let's hide this line here. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, come down with the, on the sides and then create our area so we can uh, add our mates on that one. Okay, so uh, see you back at the next tutorial.